That's right, Kat, he is in the house. Now, for those of you who are still thinking, who is he? Because it is a bit early in the morning. You know that season two of The Voice, Blue South Africa Way, and the rest of the world. That is a groundbreaking show. But one contestant in particular stole our hearts, not only with his amazing and moving life story, but of course with his incredible talent as well. If you still don't know who we're talking about, take a look at this. Singer, songwriter, HIV activist and international speaker, Jamal Rogers grew from humble beginnings to become an international sensation on The Voice. Even as a preschooler, Jamal showed tremendous talent for singing, but had to face the challenges of growing up in a fatherless household. He became addicted to drugs. As his life began to spiral out of control, the unthinkable happened. Jamal was declared HIV positive. Completely broken, Jamal began to turn things around. After six years of clean living, he auditioned for the American reality TV show, The Voice. And he became one of the breakout stars, creating a media frenzy. Besides touring internationally and recording his first album, due for release at the end of July, Jamar is also committed to demystifying HIV AIDS. Jamar Rogers is a true example of an underdog coming back to win big, and only time will tell what great things are to come. This morning, we're all about sharing knowledge, shifting paradigms, and hopefully changing lives as well. Now, the UN AIDS report on the global status of HIV and AIDS in 2012 showed an overall decline of 25% in HIV infection rates and AIDS-related deaths since 2001. But there is a great deal more that needs to be done to bring about further decline, especially here in South Africa. Now, to tackle the issue, we need to rebrand HIV, and two such young people are doing just that. I'm honored to welcome founder of rebranding HIV, Pindile Sitole, Spong, and US-based singer, songwriter, and former The Voice contestant, Jamar Rogers. Uh, Team Jamar. Yeah. Good morning, guys. How good are morning. you? Thank you so much for having us. This is so cool. It's good to have you here. Are you are you enjoying morning TV, breakfast yeah, TV? I'm just enjoying South Africa as a whole. This is I'm the so best glad. place in the world. I, I, I mean it. I'm so glad. So cool. Our groupie. Pindile, we are also very, very happy to have you on the Thank show you. as well. Now, this, this collaboration, this coming together is very, very interesting to yes. me. Jamal, we've just had a little bit of an intro on who you are and what you're about. Pindile, tell us, for any South African who's yet to understand who this beautiful, gorgeous, <laughs> beautiful South African woman so is, nice. tell us more about how you started, where you come, just something about yourself. Um, well, I actually started when I wrote an article for Our Magazine last year yeah. um, about my HIV status, mm -hmm. and I was one of the first people to come out publicly yeah. as a young voice. Uh, around HIV and AIDS, and then I was invited to speak at the World AIDS Conference, and actually that's where I met Jamar. Yeah. And um, and then I started doing work with UN AIDS and various organizations mm. like Ford Foundation, and we started really to look at HIV and AIDS in a new light. Because mm. we're like, you know, HIV is kind of an old, you know, disease, but yeah. we need some new faces, yeah. some new good-looking faces. Yeah. <laughs> that helps. And that's how we, and when Jamal was in the picture, we were like, yes. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's been a journey. It's been lots of fun. Now tell us a little bit about rebranding HIV and what it's all about. Well, rebranding HIV is a new way of looking at HIV. Mm -hmm. um, it's because a lot of people, when they look at HIV AIDS, especially the images around on the internet, yeah. it's like someone's skinny in some derelict area, mm -hmm. and the young people can't really relate. And what we try to do is say, you know, HIV looks like me, it looks like yeah. you, it looks like Jamar Rogers, yeah. <laughs> yeah. you know? Um, it's something that everyone can relate to, and it's a brand, like any good brand knows, you need to put out images that people can relate to, yeah. and we need to humanize it. Yeah. So that's what we do at Rebrand Absolutely. HIV. Absolutely, I love that, and knowledge is power. When you Absolutely. are empowered with knowledge and you understand what something's really about, yeah. the fear, you take the stigma and the fear away as well. Now, Jamar, I think that, um, and I'm so happy that, you know, Pindile, like, associated with you and yes. collaborated with you because I think you probably stood out as such an amazing example because mm. when you came out on The Voice, um, a lot of people saw this good-looking guy, this <laughs> talented guy, and we didn't know the story that was yours. Tell us a little bit about that journey for you. Well, you know, I was just, uh, I was a knucklehead as a teenager and I was re extremely rebellious. I became addicted to crystal meth at the age of 18 uh, and used it avidly for the next six years. It was at the end uh, when I was actually getting clean is when I found out that I was living with HIV. And I had two options at that moment. I could have either said I'm gonna lay down and die, yeah. or I could have said I will not die from this, and I chose to not die from this. 
I may get hit by a bus tomorrow. I will not die from this. Yeah. And so my message, and it always has been that I don't care what it is you've been through. I don't care what it is that's happened to you. If you want to live your best life now, nothing should ever stop you. Yeah. There's nothing more remarkable about me than the next person. I just didn't give up. Yeah. And so we are just uh, going around and giving a message of hope. Let people know there's second chances yeah. if they want it. I love that. I love that. Now, Celo Green said of you um, in, the, in the competition, you're such a survivor. Your story is such an empowering, encouraging, triumphant victory of life and perseverance and sacrifice, dedication and commitment. We can't help but all be inspired by that. And that's what I love about the two of you. You inspire us to, you know, to, to live beyond just ourselves right. and our own fears and our own prejudices as well. But let's talk a little bit about a young and positive and, and how you guys came together. You did tell us a little bit about that as well yeah. but what is it that you guys are currently doing and how can South Africans get involved with that well we just flew in from Johannesburg last night and yeah. uh, we spoke at Shell yeah. and uh, we, Ford Foundation yeah. and I'm actually planning a show a uh, South African tour in November yes. um, what do you take it from? I mean you know young and positive is about not just being HIV positive yeah. the positive is you know it's got dual meaning exactly, exactly. it's about being HIV positive but being positive and on your outlook on life changing your mindset as um, well so what we're trying to do is get young people to know that just because you're HIV positive it doesn't mean you have to be a, a Debbie Downer Absolutely. Yeah. you can have so much fun and just be whoever you are yeah. and live a positive life well, and that's what and we're trying to do and change the internal dialogue yeah. you know don't look Definitely. at yourself as, as a leper or a social pariah you are a real person with dreams hopes and ambitions and nothing yeah. should stop you yeah. Wonderful. For, so for anybody that's sitting at home right now that is that is looking at these two passionate individuals, <laughs> um, number one, if you are not HIV positive, yeah. what would you say to those that are watching the show right now? Well, I would say that HIV is, is not... It's, it's, a, it's a, an issue with humanity. Yes. It's, it, the, the root of it is self-love. Yeah. And, and to my HIV negative brothers and sisters, I would say, okay, so maybe you can't identify with my story, but yeah. who can't identify with making mistakes? Yes. Who can't identify with, yeah. with having things that they regret? Yeah. And I'm saying free yourself, but love, love, love. Yeah. You know, love is the answer, I feel. Yeah. Um, well, I, I agree completely with Jamar. I feel like so many people associate HIV with this negative, negative thing. And it doesn't have to be that way. And it isn't. And you just need to find the right people. And there's so much support. You just need to go out and find it. I mean, we're working with UNAIDS, with Ford Foundation. Um, we had a round table yesterday in Joburg. We're having another one in Cape Town. And we're just talking to young people and saying, just because you're HIV positive or negative even, you can do something. You can live a happy, healthy life. I love that. And it's worth it. I love that. I love the dialogue that you guys are <laughs> opening up about yes. this because I think yes. that's what people want. You know, people yeah. don't want a product. They want something that's real. And you guys are standing up for something that is so important. Okay. Where can people follow you? Where can they get involved? You can follow Jamar J. Squidward. At J. Squidward. <laughs> on Twitter. Just like SpongeBob's okay. friend, Squidward. <laughs> and I'm Mr. Tolle Spong. Okay. Um, we want to start a Twitter page yeah. uh, called Young and Positive. Uh, and when Jamar comes out for his concert in November, yeah. we want to bring out the message again of positivity, awesome. yeah. living happy, happy, healthy and happy life. Um, so yeah, but look out for us. We're going to be everywhere. We will definitely look out for you. There we yeah. go. Yeah. JamarRogers.com. But he is performing for us after the break. And I promise <laughs> you, if you remember what he made you feel like in the voice, he's going to make you feel like that all over again <laughs> coming up after the break.